Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. So today we have another video with the G6 OLED. Um, got a couple questions, so I'm going to do a text legibility or try to at least uh, zoom in on some text when I'm using PC. But right now I'm on the Xbox in the last video where I gave a couple additional answers to some questions I got. Um, I had said it was not 4K capable because I couldn't find the setting, right? So right now, if I go to my settings on Xbox there and I go, where is it? TV display options. Right now it says it does not support it, right? So 1440p, 120 hertz, which is actually what I prefer. Um, but through somebody asking me about the ultra wide support, I was actually able to go into the OSD and if you turn off adaptive sync, you will see the option to actually turn on 4K 60 hertz with this monitor. Uh, so with HDMI 2.1, you can do the 4K. So here you can see 1440p, 120 hertz. Maybe you can't, but that's what it shows. Um, it says optimal resolution, 1440p, 360 hertz. Current resolution, 1440p, 120.1 hertz. You go to 4K TV, and as you can see here, now those options are starting to show up. Let me close the, okay, it's closed. Um, those options are starting to show up for me. Uh, so here you can turn on HDR and allow games to actually use 4K. So if you go to video modes, you can turn this on and keep in mind it does 4K 60 Hertz only. Um, so here, as you can see, 3840 by 2160, 59.9 Hertz. And then it says optimal resolution, still same thing. Um, we're not going to leave that. I'm just going to leave it at 1440p and leave it at that. So let me just flip that bad boy off. Yep, it's still off. And I'm going to turn adaptive sync back on. Again, I'm not this big monitor guy, right? I know more about the actual hardware for the gaming PCs than the actual um, monitors. The other thing I'll add is when I try to turn on ultra wide, nothing changed. <laughs> so I think you have to go in game and turn on ultra wide. So as far as a console experience or simulating that, I don't think that's gonna be a possibility. Could be something I find out or learn about later down the line, uh, just like the actual uh, 1440 or 4K was. So now I'm gonna flip on the PC, turn off the Xbox, and I found out what's the, um, the auto switch source issue was. It's more so the fact that on let me how do I say it on Xbox when you put the console to sleep I guess it's still sending out a signal so when you go on PC it doesn't switch because I've noticed that I can go ahead and then right now just switch correctly uh, without me doing anything but when I switch from PC straight to Xbox no issues at all from the uh, from the start so whole time no issues now again it's going to be a little bit tougher so I'm probably going to end up zooming in on the screen uh, we'll get to some light text and then i'll try to flip on a, a dark background so you can see kind of the contrast um but this is not a productivity monitor so if you're getting this monitor because you want to do productivity work this ain't the one this ain't the play um yeah it just it just it has like a little bit of a halo around the text now i wear glasses i don't have my glasses on right now um but let's just find an article real quick Mm -hmm. I turned all that stuff off here. So the text is kind of fuzzy. Let me go ahead and see about zooming in. That might be a bit too much. Yeah. See, I don't have hardware to, to better capture the text. Um, so again, this is going to be about as good as it gets here. I'm trying to zoom in. there it is so hopefully that can put to rest some of the questions people had about uh text clarity and things like that it's not the end of the world like i said it's just a little bit more on the fuzzy side when you actually go to use it right so my last one which was lcd was a lot more clear um and i don't have my glasses on it still looks great though so everything that's supposed to be black like this is like really dark let me zoom out real quick so when you look at the top here, it's really dark. So that part of the immersion is not gone. Um, but overall, 
Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, nah, this is just going to remain looking clear. <laughs> um, there's just a little bit of a fuzziness to it. That's the best way I can explain it. As far as the text goes, it's not crisp. But hopefully this, uh, this video helps some of y'all out. Let me see if I can find something in dark mode. It's a good website. Uh, gamer, uh, video cards. Video cards. And then we'll go there. I'm pretty sure they use like a dark mode on theirs. Mm, let's, mm, whatever they got here, we'll do XTX. I don't go on this site too, too much. I just know, ah, here we go here. So we'll go to news, 9000 X3D, dark mode. Okay. So I'm going to try to do the same thing here. Just, just try to zoom in and see if y'all could see it. Again, it's not the best test. It's not the best uh, way to look at the text. I mean, it's the best I got, though. So in the picture, I'm looking at the video now. <clears throat> I'm looking at the video now, and it's just, it looks significantly worse in the video. The best way I could describe it is it just looks a little bit more on the fuzzy side as far as the text in real life on the screen. Um, you can do some things to tweak it up, especially with uh, sharpness, if you want to increase some sharpness or things like that. But yeah. All right. With that, I'm going to cut out from here. Um, hopefully, if y'all have any questions, I was able to answer it. But if not, shoot it in the comments. And if I get some time, then I will go ahead and kind of circle back. And I don't know if I'll make a, a fourth video, but maybe even drop an answer in there. If it's something I can show off. Um, again, this was mainly to go through those two talking points, which was how to turn on the 4K. Um, because I didn't see it, didn't know how to do it until I was trying to do ultra wide and then also how to, um, or what the text looks like on the screen. For those of you that are buying for this, uh, buying this monitor for productivity, but I said in the past, I wouldn't buy this as a productivity monitor, but that's just me, you know, all right, with that, I'm cut out. Y'all be easy.